Now we're going to jump back into this E36 and see what I'm going to do with it. Depends on how, how bad the, the damage is. It depends <laughs> if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to junk it. I hope I don't, I don't have to junk it because I did buy a lot of parts for it. And if I sell it, I doubt I'm going to get the money back for it because what I want to do with it, do with it, most people wouldn't do. So the parts that I buy, they probably will not be interested in. So um, I'm going to jump in to start ripping into the front end to see how bad it is and go around the car, see how bad it is and see how much, I, how much more I need to sink in it. The labor, I don't mind, but depends on what I have to buy to fix will determine what I'm going to do with the car. I'm not going to try and mock the engine bay up with it looking like this. Yeah, I know I'm going to be, you know, but it's just, this is disgusting looking. So I am going to try and wash as much as this off as possible. This is really nice. All this is going to come out and get clean later, but yeah, no, I'm just going to give it a quick wash for now. And then um, try and put the engine in after that. You know, I don't like working on something this dirty. A little bit of dirt is one thing, but this is really disgusting. Well, I thought this thing was recording while I was power washing it. Oh well, but look at it now. Now I feel better about working on it now because it's so much cleaner now. It, you know, I know I'm gonna be doing all this stuff to it, but I didn't like working on a dirty vehicle. Still not the cleanest, but man, this thing, I didn't even know it was silver under there until I power washed it. It was so dirty. Just look at that now. And this is just a quick wash. So now I feel better about mocking the engine up in here. Yes, yeah, still a lot of crap to go. A little wash is not gonna make it better, but it just looks better overall. But just look at it now. Imagine when this is all cleaned up and painted, how good it's going to look in this engine bay. Man, I can't wait. Now this front piece here had a crack right here. So, you know, I grinded out uh, the body filler and then I just rest my hand on here. I actually, I was leaning on here. Yeah. And it just broke. Like it broke down like this, right? So what I did, I grabbed it and I lifted it up to put it back in place and this completely ripped off. None of these tacks had held. As you can see, it's just all boogers there. And instead of them doing a butt joint they just uh, beat that crap out of that put this over it and you can see right there right right there they just welded it like this and fill it up with body filler and the same thing happened to this side we can see it wait let me find it hold on Here's the other piece, it went right over here. Right there. And I did the same thing, I just ripped it off with my bare hands. No grinding, no nothing, just ripped it off with my hands. But I was thinking that this piece was, this side was the good side. But then look at this right here. So instead of drilling the old piece out, they just cut it and then booger weld this. That's what I call it. Booger weld this one on there. But look at that. That's almost, that's like a quarter inch difference. And they filled it with, uh, <laughs> I can't help but laugh. They filled it with seam sealer. And if you look in there, you can see it rusting already. And that's after I ripped off the seam sealer. So now I got to find a piece to repair all of this so I want to cut this right here take this out remove all of that probably cut off some of the frame rail right there and fix all of that and the paint on this thing it comes off so easy like let's look at that paint shouldn't come off that easy nothing is holding it on here so all this have to be stripped. This thing is just getting worse. I can't even say let me scuff it up and fix it. Because that ain't going to work. This side is uh, OEM. Uh, you can see under there that this side, they never changed. That's why this side looks like this. Just beat it out. Put some body fill on there and that's it. But I'm still going to have to do this. Drill this out and get it out because I'm going to have to cut this off right here. And weld the new piece in. This front wheel is twisted to the left. 
So yeah, that's gonna have to, I don't know. Because right here, you can see, still see some body filler in there. It's lumpy as hell right there. You can tell that's where it had um, creased and they pulled it out somewhat. I don't think they pulled it. I think they beat it out. Yeah, so I grind off a lot of this stuff down there. Yeah, I did a video, but look, you can see the rust in there because they didn't put any primer on it. They just freaking put seam sealer on it. So all that I'm going to have to fix. But yeah, now I'm just actually going to try and take this off but first I gotta get the wheels off and these things were rusted on there but first I gotta get the wheel off and then um, try and see grind out some of the stuff under there and see uh, what I can do now I have to try and get all this uh, I don't know what, let, let's hope it's a <laughs> seam sealer out from under here. Look at this, they didn't even bother to weld the carrier bracket on, they just zip tied it like Jesus man. Some people are just jackasses. So now I'm gonna try and get all the seam sealer off these joints so I can see what it looks like, how they welded it, cause I need to get it all off. This is what we got up here. Some little tack wells and a lot of seam sealer. Now it's gonna take a while for me to cut all of these boogers out. So yeah, I'm gonna have to remove the strut, the springs and whatever, God knows, God knows, I, I don't even know anymore. Um, yeah, you can see all the wells that I gotta cut out up here. So I, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, if it was drilling out spot wells is one thing, but this, and then they also have it on the inside here. That mean I gotta drill out all those too. So stand by for now. Well, folks, just like the other pieces, um, filled with rust. Yeah, I didn't show you guys uh, me drilling this out. I was doing some sketchy crap. Uh, I didn't want to put that on video. I mean, it wasn't unsafe. It's just sketchy because I don't have... I need a, to go get myself a chisel so I can um, chisel all these pieces off. But look at all the rust. There's just too much... I guess they didn't prime anything. They just put it back together and boo some... Bo a lot of those wells, I just ripped off with my hand again. They didn't hold anything. Now, um, I'm just gonna get a chisel to clean that up. The rail right there has a lot of, um, I'm just gonna clean up this whole rail and see how far back I gotta cut out, but the more I dig, the more I regret. But yeah, I can't leave it like this. So I'm gonna go get myself some body working tool and uh, come back and see what I gotta cut out. Throw up the sex in the You can tell something happened there and they just try to cover it up but I'm just gonna grind it down. Is that a crack I see right there? Is that a crack? I'm gonna grind it all down, clean it up and <laughs> like I said, the more I dig into this, the more I wanna junk it. But I'm gonna grind it down completely and clean it up and see what it looks like. I was looking in the trunk and I see that something was cut out on panel bond and then I look down there and I see all the rust and just look at that big ass booger weld right there. It is ridiculous. Look at that. 
So I noticed that, you know, it was quite messed up down there. I'm not, it's like, I, I got to see what it is. So I decided to put some, um, what do you call it, paint, paint stripper on. Now, this is what I found with the paint stripper <laughs> after I started taking off everything. They, they did an overlapping weld again. I don't know why. All the way down here. And when you open the door, you can see right there where they overlap the, the weld. So that means this whole piece here is, is a new piece. Then you come down. Then you come down to this nastiness down here. Just look at all the body filler down here. Uh, they even used, I mean, look at in there. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what to do now, man. I like I can't leave it like this. Yes, I want to wide body it, but no, you, you cut out down here. You wide. It. I put over fender, but just knowing that's there, I I I I don't know if I can do it with 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 all that there. I mean, I would have to cut it out, even though most of this is gonna be covered over again. But just me knowing it's there is gonna piss me off. If I didn't know it was there is one thing, but look at I mean I just stopped trying to chisel that off. I don't. I don't know why they needed to do all of that, but yeah, no. Now you guys see all the damage and trust me, man, I don't, I really don't know what I want to do. It's a lot of work. It's not so much the work, but someone promised me, oh, speaking of that, I have to call the person. They promised the whole front, uh, from the dashboard forward from an E36, which is in good shape. But man, I don't know if I want to do that much work. I'm not lazy, but I'm burnt out from the M3 and... Uh, Trust me, this is a lot of work. And then you see the rear end. And yeah, I'm going to put some white body on it. But most people would say to leave it because that's how they used to do uh, body work back in the day. They would just put a panel over instead of completely take it off and replace it. From what I was told, that, that's, that was quite normal back then. Okay. I just, me, myself, I just don't like it. But... First, I have to do that, and I still have to do the rotted floor because the driver's side is just gone. And now that side of the car, I even got to this side. I know they did some work over, over on the passenger side, and I have, I have not even gotten over here yet to see what it is. So if I can still get that front end, I will fix it. If not, then sayonara. And... Uh, I don't want to because I have a vision up here of that car and I would love to build it and I still have to finish the M3 too so there's still a lot of work left to the M3 and some maintenance on it too but I got some thinking to do and um, yeah we will see <laughs> I don't know I really don't know I have to sleep on it and then see you know how long I've been thinking about it and I still can't come up with a decision but when I do you will know what I decide to do, but for now, later.